Despite the gloomy forecasts, the heavy rain never quite made it into Halava last night, leaving the conditions prime for a UH football beatdown. The Warriors took care of business on both sides of the ball to take care of the Idaho Vandals and get within one win of an invitation into the Hawaii Bowl. Idaho struck first, though, on a six-yard touchdown pass from Nathan Enderley to Peter Bjorvik. But they wouldn't enjoy that lead very long. Hawaii would outscore the Vandals 49 to 10 the rest of the night. Greg Alexander ramming in the game tying score in the first quarter on the QB sneak. But Alexander did most of his damage through the skies. 14 for 24, 264 yards and three TDs, including this 82 yard airstrike to Malcolm Lane. Lane had a fun one. Four receptions for 144 yards, hitting pay dirt twice. But he did get himself into some hot water with the refs following this, his second touchdown. Getting getting pegged with an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty for this series of gestures coming up. And it was regarded as a throat slash by the officials. They told him don't do it. He kind of kept going. Finally, teammate Keone Steinhoff comes in and says, Malcolm, no need for all of that stuff. All right, moving on. Daniel Libre came in from the sideline to rush for a pair of touches in this game. And the Warrior defense recorded seven sacks and three interceptions while holding the Vandals offense to just 170 total yards. It would end in a 49-17 victory for heavily favored Hawaii, who needs one win against either Washington State or Cincinnati to play on Christmas Eve. Well, it, it was a must win. I mean, we didn't, we didn't even meet about it or talk about it. You know, they're smart guys. Everybody knew what we had to do. It was, it was important that we played a total game, and, uh, uh, you know, I felt we did. We came out here kind of with the attitude that uh, we really want to establish a presence on the D-line uh, for this team uh, to kind of lead the defense uh, into the rest of the season, uh, being that we, we're in a situation where we need to win more games in order to be, go to a bowl game. So defense D-line took it upon themselves to, to uh, step up. Uh, you know, really just means we got one more. You know, we got to win one more game to get where we want to be, and, and that's how we have to take it. We got to take it one game at a time, and, you know, uh, we'll enjoy this one until Monday, then we got to focus on Washington State. Hawaii over 500 for the first time this season at 6-5. and five. They'll host 2-10 and 10 Washington State next Saturday. Some concern over the status of defensive back Ryan Mouton, who left last night's game with an apparent high ankle sprain. According to Coach McMackin, he's doubtful for Saturday's game against the Cougars. Kickoff is set for 6:05. Barring some crazy computer glitch, Mountain West champ Utah has secured a berth in a BCS game. The Utes are rated 6th in the latest BCS rankings released today. Boise State, who wrapped up the WAC title, is 9th and is still in the running for an at-large BCS berth with a showdown with Fresno State remaining on the schedule. At the top, Alabama, Texas, Oklahoma, Florida, USC, and at 7th, Texas Tech, who just got hammered by the Sooners last night. How's it going, everybody? Last night, Warrior football team closed out their 2008 conference schedule with a victory over Idaho, improving the 5-0 all-time against the Vandals in WAC play. The win now leaves UH just one victory shy of clinching a berth into the Christmas Eve Sheraton Hawaii Bowl, what would be the Warriors' sixth bowl game in seven years. Now, Hawaii quarterback Greg Alexander continued to impress last night, going 14-24 for 264 yards passing and four total touchdowns. His go-to guy in Halava, junior Malcolm Lane, who snagged four catches for a buck 40 four and two touchdowns. Warrior defense, they were tough as nails, allowing just 49 yards rushing on 40 carries while picking off Vandals QB Nate Enderley three times. Six and five Warriors above 500 for the first time this season. 49-17, the final. Everybody knew it was a must win. We didn't have to talk about that. They're, they're college guys, they're smart guys. You know, we create a lot of turnovers and, and that's something that we understand that we need if we want to win the game. And, you know, we let our defensive front go in the second half, and they made a lot of plays and causing the quarterback pressure. You know, he was throwing some balls to us, and, you know, we were just making plays. Greg Alexander is really bringing us together. Now, now he's able to go deep, uh, you know, not just hit the underneath stuff. Now he can go deep. The, the package is just opening up to him. You know, we got to win one more game to get where we want to be, and... And that's how we have to take it. We got to take it one game at a time, and you know uh, we'll enjoy this one until Monday. Then we got to focus on Washington State. Cougars are coming off of a 16-13 overtime victory over in-state rival Washington last night in the Apple Cup. Wazoo enters Saturday showdown. 2-10 overall, going 1-8 in the Pac-10. Now for Hawaii cornerback Ryan Mouton left the game with a high left ankle sprain yesterday. According to head coach Greg McMackin, Mouton is doubtful for Saturday's game. Kickoff between the Cougars and Warriors set for 6:05 at Aloha Stadium. 
over in the NFL for the second time this season and just the fourth time in four years. Radford grad and current Raiders wideout Ashley Lalee hit pay dirt. He connected with Jamarcus Russell on a four-yard score in Oakland's 31-10 upset victory over Denver, the same team that drafted Lee in 2002. Nasty breakup led to the former Warrior getting booed heavily by the Bronco faithful. He got the last laugh, though. Raiders win. Lalee finished the game with a team-high four catches for 92 yards. Over in Florida, things were getting nasty in the AFC East battle between Miami and New England this morning. Both Channing Crowder and Matt Light ejected after their small kind scrap in South Beach. Patriots beat the Finns 48-28, where New England quarterback Matt Castle became the first player in franchise history to throw for back-to-back 400-yard games, dropping 415 and three scores today on the Dolphins in the loss for Miami. Former Warrior All-American Devon Bass had his most productive day of his young career. Five catches, 87 yards, including this third 36-yarder up the sideline in the fourth quarter on the year. Number 15 has got 24 receptions for 270. The Mint champions with their bowl game backs against the wall. The UH football team pulled out their biggest win of the year last night against Idaho. Not only was the 49 to 17 romp the largest scoring output of the year, but with two games to go, Hawaii now only needs to win once more to lock up their bid for the Sheraton Hawaii Bowl. The package is just opening up to him, uh, and he's excited everybody. The offense has a swagger now. The receivers are catching the ball. The linemen are blocking, and it's even psyching up the defense. When, you know, our offense is playing like it did tonight, you know, you, you feel like you just go out there and, and gamble a little bit and try to make those big plays, you know. When we have an offense that's kind of, you know, stagnant, you're very cautious. The Warriors racked up, uh, or Warriors defense rather, racked up a season high seven sacks against Idaho last night, while the offense's red zone efficiency was nearly perfect. The Warriors were five of six inside of Idaho's 20 yard line. It's a trend they'll have to keep up in order to earn that final win for bowl eligibility. You know, we got to win one more game to get where we want to be, and you know, that's how we have to take it. We got to take it one game at a time, and, you know, uh, we'll enjoy this one until Monday, then we got to focus on Washington State. And, of course, don't forget, for a more in-depth recap to last night's game and for a look ahead to next week, tune into the Coach Max Show tonight at 1035 right here on KGMB 9. The University of Hawaii football team looked impressive in their blowout victory over Idaho last night. As KHNL News 8's Brian Ojima explains, the Warriors are playing their best football at the right time. On a night when Boise State clinched the WAC title, Hawaii came out and scored a season-high 49 points. Malcolm Lane's 82-yard catch and run in the first quarter gave the Warriors the lead as they rolled to an easy victory over Idaho. I love when a corner comes and plays bump and run on me. And he came in, he was a smaller corner, came and played bump and run on me. And he tried to actually lunge at me, and I just swim moving through him to the side. And as soon as I beat him, I just looked back for the ball. It was a sign of things to come as quarterback Greg Alexander threw for 264 yards and a career high three touchdown passes. I think the main thing is everyone just, you know, communicating, everyone's starting to understand what's going on. Um, you know, the past couple of weeks we've been, we've been uh, executing pretty well, and I think everybody's on the same page and it's starting to show. The Warriors came up big on both sides of the ball as the defense played their best game of the season, recording seven sacks forcing four turnovers, including three interceptions. We came out here kind of with the attitude that uh, we really want to uh, establish a presence on the D-line uh, for this team uh, to kind of lead the defense uh, into the rest of the season, uh, being that we, we're in a situation where we need to win more games in order to be go to a bowl game. With the victory, the Warriors are now just one win away from qualifying for the Hawaii Bowl. Uh, I feel like we're, we're sitting pretty pretty good, you know, confidence-wise. Our offense is moving the ball. You know, the last two games, the best I've seen, offense all year and you know it reminds me of last year and that's something that, that that's something that we need if we want to keep winning the Warriors break the 500 mark for the first time this season as they improve to six and five overall and five and three in conference play at Aloha Stadium Brian Ojima KHNL News 8 up next to Hawaii they host Washington State at Aloha Stadium Saturday night